put my your arm around. All right, me but as I'm trying talk. to. All right, I'm all right come a on. Musket too. Let's go. <laughs> no, but I wanted to say if people um haven't seen the video, right. it's very flashy, obviously. Right. Real clean. Clean clarity. Yeah. Yes. yes, but you know, I was a little confused to be honest because you're in the song talking about some serious subjects. Right. You know, people calling you porch monkey in very racist terms. Right, and right. But then you've got half-naked women lounging on a piano. And were you part of the concept of the video or how did that come about? No, uh, Gail Green did the video and did a great job of it. Mm -hmm. Lord, man. And we are... We're gonna be doing some more things, but it, that, that was his. That was all his vision. You know, I just came in there and did my part. Right. And you know, everybody did the parts that you know the way that the song felt to them. Well, every everyone's everybody part their own story. is exactly. very different, obviously. You you so go. your subject matter. Well, we're very different as artists. Too. Well, that's what I was gonna say. So Lil Wayne in his lyrics, right? right. He right. gets pretty intense in the right. song. He's talking right. about pistol whipping your bitch. Right. He's right. talking about knocking her out like Robitussin. That's right, that's right. And I wanted to ask you after yeah, everything. about the pain pills, too. Self-destruction. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, seriously, after everything that you've been through, right. when you're coming up with your own lyrics, right. do you have to you have to avoid certain, certain things? things? I, I just have to be mindful of certain things, you know, but I'm going to still be myself. But I'll also be mindful because, you know, it's... It's a business, and, and you have to be strategic. And all eyes are on you right exactly. now. Exactly. So right. the strategy there is not checkers, it's chess. Uh -huh. So you know that's it's, I, I, I'm mindful of the things I see. Right. Well, obviously you you did you did six years, I believe, away. Yes. yes. And day now, for day. Day for day. And listen, now you're on Cash Money, and we see how they live. Right. What? How are you handling that transition from Ooh. being on the inside to like big money and yeah, my crazy? Head, my head's still spinning right now. You know, it's humbling. It's it's really humbling to to be looking. From the from a disposition, you know, the six years looking up at everything, you know, because that's at the bottom of the barrel, you know. I think the only thing, the only thing that's worse than being in prison is probably dead itself, you know. So to do that for six years and then then to come home and be on top right. with the top record label in the world, you know, man, it's it's humbling for real. So that's that's why I say I got to be mindful of the things I say. Yeah, I know. I definitely that, that was nothing but God that allowed this you know situation to unfold like this after all of the you know. The debacle and everything that happened, God still showed up at the end. Yeah, you said that Wayne and Baby gave you a life back as a rapper, baby. Yes, they didn't, they didn't save my career, they saved my life, you know. So that's that's how serious I am with this. Yeah. It's official. DJ Green Lantern is on deck and ready to go in.